Russia has officially started a new phase in urban transportation through the launch of testing for the nation's first unmanned metro train. The project, initiated in Moscow, represents a significant technological achievement and places Russia among a growing group of countries exploring fully automated mass transit systems. The testing phase has begun on the Bolshaya Koltsevaya line, one of the newest and most advanced lines of the Moscow metro, using a specially equipped train designated as Moscow 2024. Altitude addicts learned that the experiments are currently conducted during nighttime hours and without passengers. This allows engineers and transport authorities to evaluate the system under real operating conditions while minimizing any potential risks to public safety. These trials represent the first practical step toward introducing completely autonomous metro services in Russia's largest city and eventually across the wider network. The Bolshaya Koltsevaya line, also known as the Big Circle line, was deliberately selected for the initial autonomous testing. As one of the most modern sections of the Moscow metro, it is equipped with advanced signaling, communication, and monitoring systems, making it an ideal environment for testing autonomous technology. The line plays a critical role in redistributing passenger flows across the metro system and operates at high frequency, providing realistic conditions for evaluation. Testing unmanned trains on such a busy and complex line allows developers to determine whether autonomous systems can reliably handle real-world metro conditions. These include precise station stopping, short intervals between trains, and coordination across multiple intersecting routes. The Moscow 2024 train serves as the main testing platform for autonomous operation. Although it visually resembles conventional metro rolling stock, it is fitted with advanced onboard computers, sensors, and communication systems that enable driverless operation. During testing, the train independently performs all key operational functions, including acceleration, speed control, braking, station stops, and door operation. All of these actions are governed by software algorithms designed to match, and in some cases exceed, the consistency of human operators. At this stage, the focus is on stability, predictability, and fault tolerance, rather than speed or capacity. Engineers closely monitor how the train responds to varying track conditions, signaling commands, and timing requirements. The foundation of the unmanned metro system lies in its software architecture. The platform was developed by specialists from the Moscow Government's Center for Research and Development of Unmanned Vehicles and consists of multiple interconnected modules operating simultaneously in real time. One module manages train dynamics, precisely controlling traction and braking, while another oversees interaction with trackside infrastructure and signaling equipment. Additional software modules handle scheduling and dispatching to ensure smooth integration with the existing metro timetable. The system is fully integrated with the Moscow Metro's central traffic management platform, allowing the autonomous train to maintain standard intervals, adapt its speed to network conditions, and avoid conflicts with conventionally operated trains. All testing is carried out at night when passenger services are suspended. This is standard practice in major rail automation projects worldwide and allows engineers to conduct a wide range of test scenarios without operational pressure. Despite being described as unmanned, the train remains under constant human supervision during trials, with control center staff monitoring operations in real time. Engineers analyze large volumes of data generated during each run. Even minor irregularities are recorded and reviewed to refine both software and hardware systems. This gradual and cautious approach reflects an understanding that public trust in automated transport must be earned through demonstrated reliability. While the Moscow 2024 train is the first test vehicle, the next major phase will involve a new model called Moscow 2026. Unlike its predecessor, this train is being designed from the outset specifically for unmanned operation rather than adapted from an existing design. 
It is expected to feature more powerful onboard computing systems, improved sensor arrays, and deeper integration with metro infrastructure. The Moscow 2026 model will also incorporate lessons learned during the initial testing phase. These improvements will cover both hardware reliability and software performance. Testing of this new train is expected to begin as the project advances, with the aim of achieving fully autonomous operation under normal metro schedules by the end of 2026. Altitude Addicts learned that the rollout of passenger service will follow a phased roadmap. After the completion of nighttime testing, unmanned trains will begin running more frequently within the timetable, still without passengers. Passenger service is expected to begin in 2027, initially alongside conventional trains and potentially with onboard staff present for reassurance and emergency support. The long-term objective is to operate a metro line composed entirely of autonomous trains as part of regular service. By the year 2030, Moscow plans to open its first fully automated metro line, marking the culmination of years of technological development and organizational preparation. The autonomous trains are designed to meet the high-capacity demands of the Moscow metro. Future configurations are expected to include eight carriages and accommodate approximately 1,500 passengers per train. These trains will match the dimensions of existing rolling stock, ensuring compatibility with current stations and platforms. Automation is not intended to reduce capacity or service frequency. Instead, it aims to improve schedule accuracy and potentially increase throughput during peak periods by reducing variability in train operation. The introduction of driverless metro trains is part of a broader strategy to modernize Moscow's transport infrastructure. Automation promises greater operational reliability, reduced human error, and improved energy efficiency. In a dense and complex system like the Moscow Metro, even small gains in precision can significantly enhance overall performance. The project also strengthens Russia's domestic expertise in advanced transportation technologies. By developing these systems internally, the country reduces dependence on foreign solutions and builds long-term technological capability. This unmanned metro initiative aligns with wider efforts to introduce autonomous transport across Russia. Moscow has already tested autonomous trams using similar principles of centralized control and automated operation. On a national scale, autonomous rail technologies are also being evaluated in suburban and industrial rail settings. Together, these projects reflect a coordinated approach to transport automation rather than isolated experiments. The unmanned metro train represents a major milestone in this broader transformation. What began as controlled nighttime testing on a single line is expected to evolve into a fully operational passenger service within a few years. If successful, Moscow will rank among the world's leading cities in automated metro technology. More importantly, the project will demonstrate that large, large complex, high-capacity metro systems can transition to autonomous operation without compromising safety or reliability. As testing continues and the technology matures, unmanned metro trains may soon become a routine part of everyday life in Moscow. In doing so, they could quietly reshape how millions of residents move through the city each day. If you like the video, please subscribe, share, and like. Also, please take the membership of Altitude Addicts to encourage us.